Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the UL19 Pro Boats 30 inch ready to run hydroplane on the block. All right. Um, I've got a bottle of water hooked up to my to my boat okay we're going to be testing the flow on this boat today uh, i'm going to show you guys how to check how much flow is going through your system all right uh, after you install a new cooling system this is a good way to see how much flow you have uh, my, my my cooling system is somewhat concept i just finished it up in the last video haven't run it yet uh, a few things i've never tried before on a boat so before i take it out i just want to basically see how much flow how much flow we're getting through the boat clean the, the system out because i did drill out my my nipples i could have metal shards in the boat so just taking a few extra precautions before i hit the water uh you could also use this method to flush your cooling system all right if you take your boat out in salt water or you get like run aground and you got dirt stuck all in your system and uh this is the easy way to, to flush your boat out so stick around big b here with Aclad rc <laughs> Pretty simple, all right. It's a dome bottle, big dome bottle, dishwashing bottle. Okay, it's got like the perfect size nipple there. I just took a hobby knife, kind of trimmed up some of the access so I could fit my silicone tube on. Boom, all right. Uh, IV bottle. Um, I've got it plumbed in. I hope you guys can see. I got it plumbed into my blast pickup, which is actually going to my speed control and out the side of the boat right here. I'll have to turn the boat around so we can see the opposite side for the motor run. Okay. Um, all right. So basically, it's just simple. You just flip your bottle over, see how long it takes to prime. <clears throat> all right. I'm not even pushing on it right now. So that's basically gravity pushing the pushing the water out okay so if i were to push on it it's got a pretty steady flow okay pretty steady flow all right so this side looks pretty good it looks all right um let's do the other side and kind of compare the two let's compare the two So I've got it plumbed into the rudder, which is actually going to the motor. That's with no, no pressure on it, just gravity. Alright, so I'm pushing on it. Alright, I'm pushing on it. It's actually got a pretty good flow. Let's try this. Let's do the path of least resistance. We're going to hook up this T-fitting right here, okay, and see which side... Um, has more flow okay let's do that i got my t-fitting hooked up to the cooling run okay i'm gonna tip this guy here upside down i got a, a bowl on both sides of the boat okay so wow it's opposite of what i thought the motor has got more flow than the esc does and I've drilled the holes out on this ESC. You see that? You see how much more flow that the motor has compared to the speed control? Wow. And I opened the flow up. So just imagine how, how little flow would come out if I didn't open the flow up. Okay? You see that? which i guess it's about the same this one's just a little bit higher okay uh let's try it again let's see which one has the most flow all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually put the speed control on the motor side and the motor on the speed control side okay we're gonna test my cooling run all right, because I have what I think is a constriction right here. All right, where I drilled the through hole and my 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 hose may be restricting the water flow because it's kind of a 
a tight fit okay this side's not it's a perfect perfect run this one's tight fitting so i think and that's the one on my speed control so that could be restricting the flow of water okay so i'm going to test that all right all right we're going to basically put it on the opposite system i guess that's what i said here all right if i get it to work yep all right so let's put this on speed control all right and we'll test it now okay this is still the speed control side this is the motor side okay still the same side i'm just testing to see which of the cooling runs has the most flow to see if i have any restrictions all right so let's see so the esc side still has the least amount of flow you see that the esc side so it's not a restriction of water in in one side of my cooling run okay it's not restricted i've kind of found the fix for my boat and it may help you with your boat okay i've got these extra large lines here big carbon fiber lines extra large silicone lines the motor has a quicker moving flow all right the the, the water gets in and out quicker it seems like more more flow basically the speed control slow flow okay slower flow all right i've uh i figured a way to get to pressurize the system so that so that the flow is quicker moving so check this out that the very last run of my my look at this look at the difference and i'm just holding it i'm just holding it here i'm not even pushing it look at that compared to earlier look at the difference look at this all right it base it's basically pressurizing the system and it, it'll speed the flow up through your system okay if you have these gigantic holes on that the very last part of your run the water it won't it won't pressurize that's what i mean that the speed of the boat pressurizes the system sends the water through the system all right if there's no pressure there it's just going to dribble out all right so that's how i fixed mine you know what I'm saying? Hook up a freaking uh, water bottle. You know what I'm saying? Put your little brass nipple on it. Pull your pull your cooling tubes from your rudder and just squeeze some freaking freaking water through it. You know? Um, it'll tell you. It'll tell you. Like if that's kinked up and you're not getting any flow. I tell you what. Like a little kink in a line like that could cost you big. You know what I'm saying? I hope somebody out. I hope I help somebody out out there, man. Uh, it's a super simple trick. And uh, it, it, it takes a few minutes to do. And it, like I said, it'll save you some freaking money, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Channel where we tinker, test, tune, everything. RC. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I like little boats and I just can't lie. <laughs>